Yep, it's Doug Barnberg in here. Time for another tips and tricks. Today, we're out here freezing on Truman Lake, but the cool thing is, is what we're getting ready to unleash here. The new Helix 12 Chirp. Power it on, and we're gonna show you what it's all about. This is the newest, the latest from Hummingbird. We still have the Onyx series, the flagship product, but we got our new Helix lineup, and I've showed you the 9 and 10, and now we're going to show you the 12. This one is the 12 Chirp with down imaging, 2D sonar, and GPS. We're going to show you Chirp sonar and what it can do for you. Are you ready to experience the world of Hummingbird Chirp? Here it is. This is 2D sonar. With this unit, I'm just going to run over here real quick to sonar you've got your high frequency chirp on you can change the frequency to 455 or 200 kilohertz we're going to run to 200 uh, you can set the level of chirp this is high frequency sonar since this is a down imaging unit it's going to have the 200 kilohertz and the 455 2d sonar uh, you can adjust your low end of your chirp and your high end of your chirp by adjusting these bars here uh, and then if you were running the 455 and I'll show you some of that quickly here um, that's the big difference we're just going to run through the menus here uh, you have your down imaging I've been playing with this a little bit uh, this is one of the really cool color palettes I've done a deal on color palettes uh, of the new ones you've got several different ones down here I've kind of fallen in love with this number 11 because it really helps me see the difference in detail. The red is going to be a little bit harder. You can see the little bit harder stuff here. I've actually seen fish that are showing that little bit of red. And that really makes a difference and makes it easy to see them. Uh, but down imaging is pretty much the same as the down imaging before. Um, use that video that I did on the Hummingbird DI or the Helix 10 DI. Uh, we'll show you that but you can look at the detail we're seeing down here uh, one thing i've been playing with is i've bumped the chart speed up a little bit it's not giving me as crisp as details but it's showing me these fish and making helping me stand out and see things a little bit better i'm actually running it on seven comes out of the box at five you can slow it down here to match your boat speed is what i kind of recommend but if you want to squeeze it i've been playing in some trees checking out the fish in there and if I increase that chart speed a little bit, it doesn't give me the Christmas of those trees, but it helps me find those fish within the fish. You can see there, that one's wadded up a little bit. And you can see what, see what it does when we get into some trees here, the difference. Very similar menu system before. Here's our chirp showing that, that school of bait. There's another one there. You can see these individual fish uh, Chirp gives you a little more tails, and I'm going to show you some stuff here. Uh, the difference between chirp and non-chirp, because you can non-chirp this unit also. This is our zoom mode. We've got mapping. I've got the Lake Master card. Amazing stuff. Uh, one of the things I really like about the Helix is you come over here. All your hummingbird chart data is in one area. Auto chart live is available here. Contour lines, depth colors, depth highlights, your depth highlight range. So you can set a depth and in a range. And there is actually an eagle just flying away. Uh, pretty cool out here. If you're not fishing in the winter, you're not fishing. Uh, water level offset, shallow water highlight, and your lake list are all there in one easy spot now with the helix this is the 3d double zoom mapping 2d there's a mapping and down imaging um, that was your screen captures here is chirp I and you still got your three favorite presets with the 9 10 and 12 I've got 2d sonar set up there 2d down imaging split and down imaging Let's just run a little bit here. This is uh, down imaging with 2D sonar. You can see the wads of fish here. Boom, look at these big fish down here and all these fish and the chirp sonar. The biggest thing 
and chirp is you can increase your sensitivity it's going to come out of the box at 10 but that look how hot that is what i've been doing is detuning de it a little bit there's some good arcs there You can hit mark one quick thing double menu and i'm going to probably be doing some of this screen snapshot you come down here you turn it on you put a blank sd card in and you can take these exact screen captures and what i'm doing is all you have to do is hit mark and you'll see that screen capture successfully saved waypoint gathered all that so i'm going to be throwing some of those in but see here's a fish that you can see down on the bottom it's got that real hard red to it because of the color palette that we're using uh, on our down imaging screen now what I'm seeing is I see a lot of turbulence what I call clutter over here on the uh, left side and just all you got to do is balance that down a little bit and you're gonna get less clutter more of those good hard strong returns I like the original color palette still using it with here but look at the wads of fish here. Wow. Brush down here. Lots of fish. We'll jump over here real quick. I'm going to take a screen capture. Basically, though, we'll jump over here to chirp. You hit your menu button twice. You come over here to sonar. And we can change the chirp spectrum. You can increase it to where like there's 192 basically chirp is pinging different frequencies it's pinging from 185 to 225 as an array and listening to all those frequencies return to help filter out noise and show you more fish now the other thing you can do is you can come up here and we can go to 455 and you know we're gonna we're just gonna have to refresh here but 455 is a smaller coverage area with this sonar we're gonna look I see some clutter there we'll just run it in, in sequence because both of these are now running 455 we're running 455 on our down imaging 455 on our 2d sonar um, may have to come up a little bit you can see the details this is high frequency 2D sonar and that is what the high frequency here is and what the 455, the 440 to 490 is your high frequency 2D sonar, not your down imaging is not being chirped. So just wanted to point that out. We're not chirping DAI, we're chirping 2D sonar. Um, We'll jump back over here and we're going to go back to the high frequency. Now you look at all those fish and we're going to come down here and we're just going to filter that out a little bit. But you look at all that those fish and stuff down there. Look at that wad. Wow! That is amazing all those fish wadded up right there in the mouth of this little bay. You can, I'm running mapping on my Onyx right now to show you the differences uh, but you can come over here and we're gonna come down here we're actually gonna push the button up because we'll come down to the ball you can turn your chirp mode off now I'm gonna show you this was chirp this is non chirp you can see there is some differences in the thing like it's more of a wad of fish versus each individual fish uh, in that tree to me those are fish I'm gonna drop on them so some of the differences between the two look at the wad of bait fish look at down imaging showing every bait fish this is regular 2d sonar showing those showing the bait fish showing the trees 
showing the individual fish down here showing the fish up there let's just take a shot of that one too chirp sonar there is quite a bit of difference here look at the water bait here we're going to turn it back on we're going to answer yes because this is a chirp compatible transducer the down imaging transducer that comes with the unit will be able to do chirp you can see you can adjust your sensitivity down you adjust it up too much you're going to get a lot you're going to get way too much stuff on the screen just get a good balance is what I always tell people you see those good hooks there That is Chirp 2D Sonar from Humminbird in the Helix 12. What do you think about it? It's pretty neat. It's a neat feature. It's going to help people recognize fish a little easier. It helps develop the tails um, on these fish when they're, they're not piled up like they are right now. This is winter time. We're 46 degree water. Uh, it's supposed to snow here in a little bit. And I'm trying to get this done before the ice, boat ramps ice up because it's going to get cold in Missouri. But I had to get this done because I got to share it with you, man. This is cool stuff. This is hot stuff on a cool day out here on Truman Lake in Missouri. It don't get no better than Humminbird. They got the features, the technology, the stuff to make you a better angler and find the fish. Wasn't that cool? The hottest thing on the market is the new Helix from Humminbird. It's the new bread and butter lineup from Humminbird. We got them from 5 inch, 7 inch, 9 inch, 10 inch, and now the big dog, the 12. It'll show you the fish, it'll find the fish, you just gotta catch them. Check out all the new Humminbird lineup, and thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks. And tune in next time when I hope it's a lot warmer here, and I can show you some fish catching action. I'm getting ready to go put this boat this boat on the trailer and get back inside and enjoy some warm weather. But I had to get out here and show you the difference Humminbird Chirp and what Humminbird's new Helix 12 can do for you. It's amazing stuff. Look at all these fish. It's wadded up. It's crazy. I wish I had a rod and reel in the boat because I'd love to be catching a few right now. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks and tune in next time as we go more in depth about the awesome products from Humminbird so you can learn more and get more out of your investment.